Welcome back guys. So the video I'm going to show you today, I can't even put it in the first 30 seconds of the video. Oh, you want to text him? Why? So you can be disappointed again? Like, what do you think you're going to get out of that? Number one, he might not even respond. How is that going to make you feel? You're 19? Yes. You look older. That's not a compliment. I'm telling you, you look troubled and older than you're young. Men will do nothing unless they have to. And if they have to, they will do anything. So I want to be passed around so bad, but my boyfriend just wants a monogamous relationship. It's 2024. Expecting to be with one person for your entire life is like unreasonable. I'm a young 18 year old Latina. I'm trying to get my face blasted by multiple men. Like I haven't even had a quickie in a bathroom stall. I have so much to live for. And you're telling me that I have to stay with this one guy because I love him so much. But there's literally guys out there with 13 inch meats waiting to destroy me. It would just be so unfortunate if I were to go my whole entire life without getting piped by at least a hundred different people just to see who I like the most. Things might actually Yeah guys, this is the future of dating in 2024. <laughs> did while we were dating and I still stayed. My ex was writing love letters to his ex-girlfriend. I was like, this is incredible prose. Is this for English class or... An ex of mine got so mad at me. He proceeded to pick a hole into my closet door and then refused to get it fixed. So we hung an Argentinian yeah. flag above it. That's a band-aid on a bullet wound. Another ex... But she keeps picking guys like that. So whose fault is it? Mine gave me deodorant for my birthday. Old Spice. An ex of mine took me and my grandma out to breakfast and then retroactively Venmo charged me for her meal. Even though he offered to pay. My grandma then forced me to go break up with him. I don't need a macho guy. That's not what I need. I need a baby girl. Okay? I need somebody sweet and sensitive and can drink coffee and talk shit with me. Like Then go be with a woman. A man isn't like that and even if he was, you wouldn't stand him for long because it's not in your nature to want a, a man that acts like a woman. You may think you want that, but you actually don't. That's legit it. What would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? I'm a 10. A 10? Of course. Yeah. That's like You're flawless perfect. though. Yeah, I am flawless. As a middle-aged woman, there are some things that I'm sad about losing. The elasticity in my face, the ability to be able to drink and wake up the next day without a hangover. Yeah, guys, that's true. I used to drink when I was younger and I, I didn't have any problems. I would sleep like three hours and I would w wake up fresh. The uh, natural pigment in my hair colour. The desire to go out and party all night which I still do sometimes, very rarely now. But there is one thing that I am not sad at all about losing okay. as I am in middle age, and that is the amount of fucks that I give. Is it tough to date with this uh, guy as your well, father? we're single, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy, but it's not hard. You just need to not scare off every guy that we bring over. Immediately. Do you think that first woman that wants to be passed around if she had a dad like this, do you think she would make a video like that? No, for sure not. For sure not. Most of the men fail at first sight because yeah. my dad pulls them in and says, next time, I walk around with my hand, hand like a man. <laughs> Most of the time when they come over to meet the parents, they don't necessarily return. He doesn't say hello. I don't no. trust their intentions. You stand in the corner and just stare at them and not even say hello. Because they're boring. I've had him go, dude, hey, dude. I said, how about I rearrange your brain so that word right. never comes out? Dude? Yeah. Dude? Yeah, it's the same like women saying bro. Really? He still calls us after dates at this age going, are you home yet? Who are you with? <laughs> Put him on the phone. Fellas, just know your woman's always going to have a problem with you. Because all her problems start with men. Menstrual cycle, menstrual <laughs> cramps, <laughs> men no pause, mental breakdown. That's so true. <laughs> so just know she's always going to have a problem with you because we're men. What? I cheated on my husband. Uh -huh. I am happily married. Still, I chose to cheat on him with some guy who flirted with me. 
He told me he is just having fun and has no feelings for me. Yeah, she found a Chad that just wants to smash. But I have feelings for him. It was going on and off for a year. He then asked me if he could borrow some money. So I gave him almost five grand because I couldn't say no to him. I felt if I said no, he would hate me and won't talk to me. At the same time, I felt used and I was afraid of the possibility he could tell my husband. He keeps coming back. We have sex. I give him money. My God, what in the name of the... He's a gigolo. The swindler is this. He's actually blackmailing this woman. This is a very strange scenario because it's usually a woman that would do this. Yeah, and it's usually the man cheating on the wife. Friendly reminder that you can keep your body count low this year by just revisiting some of your fan favorites. Like, for example, I'm revisiting February 2023 and July 2019 right now. Five reasons why I hate London men. Number one, they think they're women. Number two, they all suffer from, like, age complexes. So, like, 29-year-olds that should be doing 29-year-old things believes he's 18 and he's doing 18-year-old things. So there's... You know why they all say this? That they say that guys in their 30s are immature and they don't know what they want? Let me explain. Because to them, they had fun in their 20s. They didn't care about relationships. They didn't care about anything. They just wanted to have fun. Now, guys have fun in their 30s. Why? Because now they have better jobs. They're better looking. They, they have a, a career, they have, they have their shit together, they know how to talk to women, and now it's their time to have fun. And women see that and say, oh, he's so immature, he, he doesn't even know if he wants a relationship. Of course, you had your fun in, in your 20s, he worked, you didn't even notice him, and now it's his turn and you make him immature. Can mix match between their actual age and like what they think they are, you know? Number three, they talk too much. Number four, all they know how to do is to lie and cheat and waste your time. Again, that's the man that she sees. That's the chads, the men that have lots of options. Most men don't even have women, don't even have girlfriends. How are they going to cheat? I don't get it. Number five, really deep down, they just all want to date each other, but they're too afraid to admit it. So they really take out their anger on women because their true desires is to be with each other. If I were to see a woman like this in reality, I wouldn't even bother to explain to her how stupid she is. I would just ignore her and go away. Or I will tell her to go away from my vicinity, please, because your stupidity is intoxicating. And those are five reasons why I hate London men. Like, what do you do for your man? Okay, yeah, so obviously, like I said, I cook and clean, do the laundry, that's pretty the typical stuff. But kind of like what you said, you want to make your house like a safe place for your husband to come home to and just make him comfortable and serve him. So every morning and every night, I literally massage him until he goes to bed. So every night I put my daughter to bed and then I massage my husband to sleep and then... Yep, that's the same thing that my girlfriend does because I have problems falling asleep. I go to sleep and that's what I do because he wakes up and he works hard to provide for the family. So my job is to make sure that he gets to sleep and has a good night's rest. So yep. th that's something I do. I fully trust him. That's something, a lesson that I've had to learn because sometimes I've always had a strong personality and there's been times where I doubt his decision and I've had to learn the hard way that no, you need to trust your husband. And once I do and I fully trust him, I always realize, wow, he knows what's best for us. Yeah. That's something that men are really looking for in a woman is someone that yeah, I don't want a woman that would argue with me at every decision I want to make. I don't want that. I don't. You just think you know more or you think you know better, but you don't. Just fully trust them. Just be led by them. You want a man that's a leader and that's what he truly is. And there's other stuff too, but yeah. Whenever a man texts me and says, I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good week. I hope that you shut up. You right there. Get out of my face, get out of my phone, like put some effort, actually try to make me have a good day, you know, like send me a coffee, can you send me flowers? Send her some cash. <laughs> can you send me you? Can you send me food? Bro, you telling me I hope you have a good day doesn't, why would I have a good day just because you say that? Actually, because.
because you actually like this guy. You want to be around him. You want to listen to what he has to say. That's why. But of course, you've never met a man like that because you hate all men. This pissed me off. Now you just pissed me off. My day went from bad to worse. The world without men was what world? I saw some data series from the Department of Labor that broke down men and women and what they did in our economy to a quite a granular level. I think they had taken it down, then they put it back up. I'm like, oh, they don't want people to know. So I downloaded the data set and I got it. Before the Department of Labor takes this down, I want to show what men and women are doing in this economy. Yeah. And so I just backed out all the men from the data. And I said, okay, here's what your economy would look like with women. And the thing that I saw that shocked me that I I discovered along the journey of writing it, it's worse than what I thought. I thought, okay, there's some women who are gonna plump. Yeah, there's some, but it's a fraction of what I thought it was. I didn't realize like just how screwed women would be without men. I conclusively debunked that women don't need men. They I need to find that study. I will look for it today and I will let you know if I find it. We're so dependent on men, it's not even a joke. What happens is we have an educated group of women and they're looking for men on their level to date and that group of men is so small. You understand, you're in the top 17% of men if you make $100,000 a year, which would not even yeah. make you through three months in Beverly yeah. Hills. And then you're also in the top 1% of men if you're six foot three. You're in yeah. the top 14% of men if you're six feet tall, but that's all they want. They don't want 100K or six feet tall. They want 100K and six feet tall. So that's 0.17 times 0.14, yeah. which equals 2.3% of men. Most guys would pursue the beautiful 21-year-old nobody over oh, Beyonce. Yeah. And I'd, I'd of say course. Beyonce? Of course. It's not even a debate. And over Beyonce. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, guys, listen, like, listen, listen. Rich women? No, no, no. 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 They don't. No. Like, and it's also because of her status. That's a headache for us. I don't want a girl yep. who's out there in the bright lights and like on like shooting music videos all the time and traveling all the time. Well, then that's insecurity. No way. Yeah, I, that's, that's you being insecure. Why, why is it insecure? Why do you have a problem with a woman being in the spotlight? And why does that take away your spotlight? Mm -hmm. It's not about taking away my spotlight. It's just the fact that you it's want a like humble, modest nature. woman. You don't want a woman who's running around and just out in the streets all the time and travel. They won't understand this. They will just say you're insecure. And you can't change their mind because they have been indoctrinated and all the time you want you want a woman who's kind of a part of your frame rather than doing her thing all the time so you want we her to be a part of your things. life versus having like a her own life absolutely because one day she's going to have children and i want her to focus on the children I, see. I don't want her to be focusing on career i don't want her to be focusing on travel anything like that i want her to be focusing on children and family ah! only do what i'm about to share with you if he's losing interest or he's okay. getting complacent with you in your relationship. Okay. Men subconsciously seek other men's validation. So all you really need to do to get him to stop being complacent is okay. have other men validate you in front of him. So then Yeah, and if the other men validate you in front of me, I just assume that you're a three or four and I leave. Only simps will stay. Only simps. No man wants to be degraded or made fun of by other men. This time you're out, when you are walking, I want you to walk slightly ahead of him. And I want you to subtly but aggressively look at every single man that walks by. In turn, they will look at you. And all he will see is men looking at you. He's going to start thinking, wow, all of these men are looking at my girl. My girl must be so special and so beautiful. That she's a three or four. And everybody here knows it. Now, if he brings it up to you, baby, everyone's looking at you today. Be like, really? I didn't notice. Now, he's thinking, right, all of these men have walked past my girl and looked at my girl. These, this is a sign. This is a sign that these types of men are the potential men that could take her away from me if I do not stop being complacent, if I do not treat her right. Let's say... She's in front of you and you can't see where she's looking. Why is she in front of you? Why isn't she beside you? I don't get it. How, how, how are you walking like this? She in front and, and you behind. Now, he is going to realize and start treating you like he did at the beginning of the relationship when he was trying to win you because now he sees... By the way, guys, just to let you know, a real woman... You know what she will do even if she doesn't look at other guys. When you're going down the street with her and she sees a lot of men looking at her and she's, she's not beside you, let's say, 
she will get beside you and she will take you by your hand. Why? To show other men that she's in a relationship with you. Why? Because she, she's proud of being in a relationship with you. You with fresh eyes he sees you as the prize just like he did when he first met you he is not going to lose interest any longer and he is not going to be complacent okay guys it's time for me to answer a couple of questions hello sir in the video talking about clothing how do you feel about accessory items such as necklace watch sunglasses and the like thank you first of all necklaces are not in style anymore if you're a Christian and you want to wear a cross, that's, that's your business. But necklaces are not a thing anymore. Okay, for watches, um, you should have a few watches for different occasions. For example, I have three watches. One is more casual. It doesn't matter how I dress. It's more ca casual. Of course, it's very big. I only like very big watches that are over two inches in diameter because I'm a big guy and I don't like small watches. The next one is like this. It's rose gold, so it's more elegant. And I have another one that is yellow gold. So between these three watches, I have a watch for every occasion. By the way, a pro tip. If you want to stand out, if you are going to a business meeting with somebody that you know will appreciate this, or with a woman that you know will appreciate this, that knows about fashion, have a suit handmade for you and the left arm make it shorter than the right. Why? so it doesn't cover up your watch this is how it should be the 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 jacket from the suit shouldn't cover up your watch oh and by the way guys i want to talk about the the clothing video so many of you guys told me oh your style isn't good oh no you men shouldn't dress like that first of all when i said i was dressing more eccentric i meant that most people don't know anything about fashion, 90% of people. So for them, of course, I'm more eccentric. Just think about it. You've dressed your whole life the same. When was the last time you got a compliment from a woman saying, oh my God, I love your outfit. I love your shoes. I love this or that. And it's not your girlfriend or your wife. A woman that you've just met on a date. When was the last time a woman said something to you like that? Never. So then maybe you should change your clothes because those clothes, it's clear it's not working. I get compliments all the time, all the time from women, from other men for the sunglasses. When it comes to sunglasses, I see so many people not knowing how to pick sunglasses. Let's show an example from the video we made today, this woman. So she has a thin elongated face like this and the glasses are elongated the other way around it doesn't match her face plus it's wider than her face the glasses should be as wide as your face not wider for example i'm going to show you what i wear i have a big round head so i need chunky glasses so this is the type of glasses that i wear can you see it's not wider than my head of course they're chunky they're big because i have a big head so you should understand the shape of your face and what kind of glasses goes with that face okay the next question how can you tell without asking if your girlfriend or wife is cheating and fucking behind your back my guy you have to know your girlfriend your wife how do you not know her because when she starts cheating her behavior will change. She will do certain stuff that she didn't do before. She will be more sneaky. How do, you, how do you not have access to her phone? How do you not see who she's talking with? I don't get that. My, my girlfriend's phone uh, unlocks with a, with a fingerprint. I also have a fingerprint that I can unlock her phone with. 
I can I can go through her phone whenever I want. When does she find the time to, to cheat behind your back? Isn't she working? How do you not know her schedule? How do you not have certain things put into place to know where she's going, when she's going, with whom she's going? Some people are so clueless about what's, what's happening in, in their life. It's, it's unreal. And it's not about control. You have to have certain safety things put into place for your sake.